The purpose of this film is to understand the indication and technique of percutaneous stabilization for fracture treatment in ankylosing spondylitis. The patient is a 69-year-old female. She has been diagnosed with ankylosing spondylitis and kyphosis in the thoracic spine, but is mostly pain-free. She experienced pain after a car accident. The fracture was not discovered during her first treatment. A radiological examination three months later revealed a chance fracture at the level T910, which still shows hyperintense signals in the MRI STIR sequences. The patient now complains of aggravating pain in the lower thoracic spine. Because of the pain and the instability, indication for stabilization surgery is given. She has no neurological deficit. The patient is placed in prone position on an adjustable table. Because of the local kyphosis, the position has to be adjusted. By placing the patient in prone position, a sufficient reduction is already achieved. By using fluoroscopy, the pedicles are visible in the orthograde position in the AP view. Jamshidi needles are placed at the pedicle entry point, then through the pedicle to the medial margin on both sides. K-wires are inserted into the vertebral body, and the Jamshidi needles are removed, and dilatators inserted. Screws are inserted from T7 to L1, excluding the fractured T10. All screws except T9 and T11 are augmented with PMMA under fluoroscopic control. After measuring, the length of the rods is determined. Screw loosening was discovered at L1 after inserting the left side rod, as the screw cannot be replaced. Stabilization is extended to L2. The rods are then inserted in craniocaudal direction and fixed to the screws. The wound is then closed.